Mommy, I can't catch my breath. Jiangxi, you're so cunning. Doing all this just to make me unable to leave you, right? Do you want to go somewhere else? Nowhere else. Just want to hold you like this. When will you get divorced? Soon. Marriage is just a piece of paper. All I have in my heart is you. Nurse! Nurse! My child in an allergic reaction! Can you take a look? You came even in this heavy rain? I came to see you. The sequential data here needs to be filled in. I'll find some references to help you out later. Let's eat now. Come on. Actually, I'm kind of hungry. This is a feast! Look. What do you think? Mm. Pretty impressive. Of course. Concise and to the point. Clear emphasis. Just look at who my teacher was. Mommy! I'm so itchy! Mommy! I'm so itchy! Mommy! I'm here! I'm here! Mommy, I'm so itchy. Where does it itch? Let me see. Here, here. Does it hurt here? Here. Let me check. Anywhere else? <laughs> it's... It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'll call Dad. It's fine. Mommy, I can't catch my breath from my back. <laughs> come, come, let's go. Mommy will take you to the hospital. It's okay, Guo Guo. You'll be fine. Breathe. Guo Guo. It's okay. It's okay. Mommy will take you to the hospital. Come on, get in the car. Talk to Mom. It's okay. Mommy! I can't breathe. Can't catch my breath. We're almost at the hospital, okay? At work, you're my right-hand man. In life, you take care of me in every way. Mommy, I can't catch my breath. <laughs> Jiangxi, you're so cunning. Doing all this just to make me unable to leave you, right? Do you want to go somewhere else? Nowhere else. Just want to hold you like this. When will you get divorced? Soon. Marriage is just a piece of paper. All I have in my heart is you. Nurse! Nurse! My child in an allergic reaction! Can you take a look? This is acute urticaria. You as a parent are so careless. Why did you wait till now to bring her? Is it serious, doctor? I'll prescribe some medication. You can go pay first. Thank you. Please take care of her for me. You came alone? Uh. Joe, can you help watch her? Okay. 
It's okay, don't be scared. Place the water bottle here. I got it. Hey, your hand feels hot. You look pale. Are you running a fever? It's okay. Guo Guo, Mom will be right back, okay? Be good. Are you still feeling bad? Thirsty? Want some water? Guo is sick. Is it serious? Guo Guo, what did you give her to eat? How did she suddenly have an allergy? With the season changing, kids have weaker immunity. You should pay more attention. Not to be critical, but you should be more focused on her. She's still so young. Allergies like this can be prevented if you're careful. She's asleep now. Come on. Come on. You'll feel better after some rest. Lie down slowly. Slowly. Lie down and sleep. You're back. Did you send Guoguo to school? Did you know that Guoguo had an allergic reaction yesterday? We went to the ER. Is it serious? Is she better now? You were so careless. Where were you last night? What could I do? I was entertaining a client. Being with client can't answer the phone? My phone died. It was off. I went to the hospital alone with Guoguo Guo last night. If we had been any later, Guoguo Guo could have gone into shock. I called you 12 times. Didn't you hear me? My phone died. Your phone was dead today. Tomorrow have business trip. How many excuses do you have? How can they be excuses? Everything I said is true. Wei Ming, does this home no matter to you at all? Our child had such a major incident. Don't use our child as an excuse with me. I don't care about our family. From dawn to dusk, isn't it all for this home? I don't have time for this. Stop right there! We're settling this today! Hello? Hello, are you Mr. Wei? Yes. Your package. Thank you. Mr. Wei, hello. Your tie was left in the suite last night. Your colleague asked us to deliver it to your home. Who's playing this sick joke? What kind of prank is this? 
Wei Ming, are you still denying it? Denying what? I've never been to that hotel. You've never been to the hotel? I haven't. If you haven't been there, what's this? Those young guys from marketing department tried to pull a fast one on me. Those bastards always up to no good. Acting! Keep acting! After all these years, you doubt me? At work, I have no time to eat. Where would I find the time for such nonsense? That's a question about you. I work like a dog for this family all day. Your occasional grumbles, I can let those slide. But now, you're using this against me. What do you want me to do to satisfy you? Wei Ming, you know exactly what you have done for me. Now that you can't hide it and pin it all on me, don't be so despicable. Lin Shuang, I've had enough of you! When you have nothing to do at home, you act like Sherlock Holmes. The one who doesn't want to live a normal life now is you. The one causing problems is you. Whatever this crap is... Don't think you can smear me with it. Actually, I've always... Dad! Stop yelling at Mom! Mom feels bad now. She is still sick. She's running a high fever now. Guo <laughs> Guo. Don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry, don't cry. I know mom is sick. Be good. Don't cry. And for dad, take good care of mom. Let her rest and recover. Mommy. Are you okay? Mom's fine. Mom's okay. <laughs> now that dad's gone, no one can bully you. <laughs> Between me and dad, just have some conflicts. Do all grown-ups quarrel such violently because of disagreement? Uh... The issue between your dad and me is a bit significant. Guo Guo? Mom's feeling a bit under the weather, so I'll ask Grandma to pick you up and have you stay at her place for a few days. Mom wants to rest a bit. Is that okay? Okay. About Dad and Mom. Don't mention anything it to others. Understood. It's okay. Mom's okay. Hello? Is this the hotel front desk? Here's the thing. I left a tie there yesterday. That's right. Can you help me mail it? All right, thanks a lot. Lin Shuang, thank you for coming into my life, becoming the love of my life. Spending a lifetime with someone, it's kind of daunting when you think about it, but that person happens to be you. How can I possibly commit a lifetime? I want to give you my entire life. Will you, through joy and sorrow, will you share the rest of our lives together do you want to be my beloved wife? I don't.
We've got a lot of new arrivals in the store. Let me show you. Thanks to friends like you, spreading the word. Business has been good. Actually, at first, business wasn't great. But these past few years, it has really picked up. People's perceptions have changed. When I first opened the shop, people thought I had opened a pawn shop. Back then, everyone thought, unless you were broke, who would pawn stuff? In fact, this place is just a second-hand trading platform. Bring what you don't like, take back what you do. <coughs> Honey, let me tell you, I've got two antique watches. Limited editions, definitely in value. <laughs> Look familiar, right? Jiang Xi from the gym. You know her? She brought them in. They're quite beautiful. Is she a regular here? She's a regular. But her situation is different than yours. Actually, with her salary. Buying luxury items every day. Do you think that's possible? Didn't they say it's her boyfriend who buys her those? <laughs> Someone surely does. But whether it's a serious boyfriend, I wouldn't know. These two bags, they're from her. If you ask me, this guy sure knows his stuff. Only buys top tier luxury, the entry level ones. Not expensive, but obviously high end. This trick might fool young girls. Pawning luxury items to make money. She's practical. Practical? More like short on cash. You see, life's tough for everyone. Let me tell you, these young girls, they have their ways. Rich people only recognize brands. They don't care for details. Anyway, these guys surely can't tell. Leave the real one here with me. Carry a replica home. Isn't deception a whole act? Otherwise, they'll see right through. I'm just trying to provide a service. <sighs> Sometimes when I think about it, these young girls, all they have is youth and beauty. All they've got is to cautiously please others with a smile. In the end, they only earn a few bags and some jewelry. If not for the need for money, who would go through this? Those who appear glamorous on the surface. It's not easy for them either. What's so hard for them? They could have found a decent boyfriend. Even if short of cash, they could work for their own money. But them? They choose to steal, wanting to gain without working. This isn't hardship. This is wrong. <sighs> exactly, exactly. It's just wrong. These mistresses break up families. People like that should be condemned, deserve no good end. How about you? What did you bring today? Would you like me to take a look for you? <sighs> this looks worth about 40 to 50 percent. It's indeed small. By the looks of it, the quality doesn't seem good either. Back then, got married right after graduation. Just starting our careers, didn't have much money. Is this your wedding ring? If the marriage is over, what do I need the ring for? Might as well trade it for some money. Supporting the underprivileged girls in the mountainous regions. The Spring Seedling Project? Here, take a look. This is beautifully crafted. All handmade. So, I'll just write it here. Yes, yes, write it here. Thank you. I'll take it then. All right. Feel free to look around. The Spring Seedling Project. This looks good. That one is worth a look too. Supporting the underprivileged girls in the mountainous regions. Come take a look. Supporting the underprivileged girls in the mountainous regions. Come take a look. 5,000? Thank you. What's your name? The moment I laid my eyes on you, I knew you'd become my client sooner or later. Dependent marriage. You're well-educated. Husband is successful. Married for many years. You two are estranged. Half the cases I've taken are just like yours. Come in. Have a seat.
Have you made up your mind? Since you've decided, tell me what you're seeking. Child custody. Regarding assets, I want what's rightfully mine. Not a cent less. The house you're living in now is under your in-law's name. When you got married, your family paid for the renovations. And over these seven years, the property value has soared while the renovations depreciate. If you divorce now, you only can get some heavily depreciated furniture and appliances. This house has nothing to do with you. For the marital assets, they belong to both literally. But as you said, your husband has converted joint assets into his private property. Of course, we will need time to present evidence. Additionally, beyond tangible assets, there are also intangible assets in a marriage. Intangible assets? This refers to... One's value in society, in terms of wealth, status, reputation and the like. In a marriage, to achieve such intangible assets, one doesn't just rely on their own efforts, but also the contributions of their spouse in housework. Although the law now recognizes the value of household labor, but in specific judgments, the compensation amounts often fall short. So with the current information, it doesn't look favorable for you. What about child? What about child custody? The principle for child custody is to see who provides a more favorable environment for the child's growth. Adultery isn't legally recognized as unsuitable for child custody. In other words, if Wei Ming can prove, he can provide a better environment for the child. He might gain custody. Actually, given your current situation, you haven't had an income for four or five years. The possibility of the child being awarded to the male party isn't non-existent. If I confront him, we can sit down and negotiate. Negotiation is about the bargaining chips each party holds. But I don't have any cards. So you're saying he cheats, and in the end, I leave with nothing? I know this is hard for you, but it's not impossible. So, that's why you came to me today? I suggest you hold your horses for now. First, use this time to find a job. Prove you have a stable income to support the child. Second, figure out your husband's financial situation and keep as much evidence as possible. Third, collect evidence of his infidelity and his transfer of marital assets. Prove that he's the one at fault for the marriage breakdown. This can give you an upper hand in asset division. Divorce is a mental and technical battle. Don't be overly afraid of him and never underestimate yourself. Why? Opportunities abroad are rare. After this assignment, promotions follow. Besides, no matter which company you go to, this experience must be a significant endorsement in your career. Why give it up? Because in my life, it's something worth putting all my effort into. I have a child now. When I held her, I felt like all the other colors in this world faded. I'm willing to make this choice for this small family. I fully respect your decision. But I hope in a few years, you won't regret today's choice. Because in life, there are many possibilities. This opportunity is rare. I hope you'll think it over. Thank you, Daling. There are many paths in life, but I believe, whichever I choose, I can reach my ideal destination. Are you free at noon? Let's meet up and talk about Wei Ming.
Sure. You pick the time and place. Your coffee? Got startled? Actually, you were right before. Wasting away in a loveless marriage, with a husband drifting away, is just a waste of time. So, I don't intend to waste any more of it. So what you're saying is, I want a divorce. But the condition is, I must get custody of the child. What's that got to do with me? I am out of touch with society for so long. Financially dependent, standing a chance to fight for child custody. It's nearly impossible. Moreover, Weiming has made arrangements. Over the years, he has gradually transferred our marital assets. Even if I make it, I can't maintain kids' current standard of living. Money, which I once overlooked. Now, for the sake of my child, I must consider. So you're saying? I hope you can work with me to reclaim the assets that originally belonged to me. Help me take the initiative in the divorce. Why would you think I'd team up with you? We can benefit mutually. For every cent I get, you'll have a share. Have you even thought this through about our relationship? My goal is to get you out of the picture. Even if I'm out, you won't get in. Don't you think your schemes are absurd? One more thing. Your bracelet and bag, they're second hand. Knowing Wei Ming, he's all about face. He wouldn't buy used items for display. What's it to you? Jiang Xi, you're short on money. Don't take it the wrong way. My target is Wei Ming, not you. I'm no longer in love with him. So there's no animosity between us. Let's not push each other to opposing sides. What's most important is, this gives you the perfect chance to truly find out if Wei Ming genuinely cares about you. You can take your time to consider my proposal. No need to rush an answer. I need to pick up my child. We'll talk more next time. Aren't you afraid I'll tell Wei Ming about our conversation today? If I wasn't certain, I wouldn't have approached you. Our relationship, the three of us, is simple. Wei Ming cheated, had an affair. You interfered and ruined my marriage. And I, from the beginning to end, am the victim. Don't you think your schemes are absurd? Have you even thought this through about our relationship? My goal is to get you out of the picture. Even if I'm out, you won't get in. Hours. 
This report is needed for tomorrow's meeting. Understood. Mr. Wei, I have two documents here for you to sign. Bring them to my office later. All right. If it really comes down to it, both you and Wei Ming wouldn't benefit emotionally or logically. Moreover, you aren't that confident about your feelings for him, right? If things go south, he might not stand by your side. Look, here, isn't this the community where Wei Ming bought you that villa? Right here? Yes, right here. Correct, correct. I remember there's a large forest park to the east. Wei Ming's friend mentioned that in the future we could do morning tai chi and square dancing there. Quite convenient. Mm. But I bet he didn't tell you. To the southwest of this community, right here, they're building a major infectious disease hospital. <sighs> infectious disease hospital? Yes. And this infectious disease hospital is right next to your villa community. Look. Although, Mom and Dad, you're not the type to fuss. But think about it. Walking past that hospital every day, given your age, it really is a bit unsafe. Lin Shuang, you're right. We, we don't want to see those patients. We'd be scared to death by them. Lin Shuang, where did you get this information? Is it reliable? It's reliable. It was just posted online. So this is why in this community, suddenly there are so many desperate low-priced listings. We can't take this house then. Who would dare live there? Waiming must have been duped by someone. We're screwed. We've paid the money already. Yeah, what do we do? I called Wei Ming today. His friend indeed didn't tell him about the infectious disease hospital plan. So, I'll apply for a house return, based on contract flaw. <sighs> great, great. Better to return it. <sighs> Thank goodness Lin Shuang found out in time. Otherwise, we'd have been the big suckers. Got a good bottle of wine. See you in a bit. Too exhausted today. Not in the mood. I didn't bring an umbrella. I can tell. I have an interview at ARC today. Can I share your umbrella? It took me two hours to do this makeup. If it gets ruined, I won't be able to interview. Interviews are about skills. You don't understand. I don't stand out in education. Nor do I have much work experience. But I do have an advantage. My biggest advantage is this face. This is my greatest asset for interviews. You're quite confident. Us from smaller places don't have the best circumstances, so I grab onto every little opportunity to strive, to stand firm in the big city. Here, take the umbrella. It's yours. You? Thank you! Go, go, go! 
Another one, another one. Another one? No, how can you... Score headshots every time? You're using cheats today, aren't you? You, with your skill? What's the point of having such a good gun? Bro, what's the point of having such a good gun? Sis. Sis. Okay, okay, okay. Are they at A or B? Going to A, right? Let's go, let's go. Head to A. There's one in the small hole at A. Only has basic new media operation experience. Branding and marketing strategies are very limited. Both education and work experience don't match our ARC's recruitment standards this time. I wonder how HR screened these resumes. She does have good looks. A good image can leave a deep impression. Let her handle channels then. And advertising, as well as offline collaborations, what do you think? Next. Mr. Wei, I'm sorry. I just found out you're the product director. Right, I owe you an umbrella. The umbrella is yours. Work hard from now on. Thank you. I'll prove to you that besides looking good, I have skills too. I see your ambition. For the skills, you need to work on them. Do you have an English name? You'll be liaising with foreign company. I have one. My name's Mary. Mary? Mm. That name doesn't really suit you. If you don't mind, I'll give you one. I don't mind. How about... Camellia. Just like the Camellia flower, a name fitting its bearer. Let's play ball sometime. Sure, sure. You didn't drink much today. Hoping we can collaborate soon. Mr. Wei, you're too kind. All right, all right. I'll be going now, Mr. Goodbye. Wei. Have a smooth day tomorrow. Mr. Wei, didn't you drink too much? I did have a few drinks, but I'm not drunk. Are you in a rush to get home? I'm not. If you're not in a hurry, let's take a walk. Sometimes, we shouldn't push ourselves so hard. We should relax. Not think about stressful work. Not think about performance. And even skip events like the one just now. You're just under too much pressure. You should go home, get some sleep and rest up. When there's too much pressure, even sleep becomes a burden. It's been so long since I've come to this riverside. The night view is so beautiful. Mainly because I have you with me. Jiangxi. Do you know You have a magical power? In my eyes, all of Ark is black and white. Only you are the brightest color in it. Why have you never told me? You've already married? I never thought our relationship would get to where it is now. I'm sorry. I've been selfish. I've hurt you. Placed you in such an awkward situation. My marriage with Lin Shuang is just in name now. Divorce is only a matter of time. The one I love is you. 
Trust me. I'll treat you well. But if you choose to walk away now, I'll respect your decision. What's your score? What's your score? Look at mine. Jiang Hai. Jiang Hai. What? Can you wash the dishes first? Hold on just a sec. After this game. Are you out of your mind? What do you even do at home? We're out of everything. The fridge stinks. No more eggs. Didn't you notice? If we're out of eggs, go buy them. Why take it out on me? You're sick. Right. I don't need to manage anything in this house. It's all me. How long has it been since you graduated? You're my younger brother. As your sibling, I should be taking care of you. I provide for your food and shelter. I can't possibly clean up after you too, right? Am I doing nothing? Am I doing nothing? I'm researching startup projects. I'm looking for investments. I just wanted to relax a bit. Can't I play a game? You're looking for investments? Starting a business? Stop kidding yourself. Fine. Every penny you spend is mine. Keep lying to yourself. Jiang Hai, please. Can you give me some peace of mind? Don't look down on me. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Any of my projects, if just one of them succeeds, it's a multi-million dollar deal. How about this little money of yours? <laughs> Besides, is the money really yours? Is it? What do you mean? Where did you get this money? You really think I don't know, right? Jiang Hai, shut up. I'll say it. You do things, but I can't speak. Doing shady things behind my back, then putting on an act here. Let me tell you, you have no shame, but I do, okay? I have dignity. I don't want to argue with you. Say that again. If you dare, say it again. You think my money is dirty, right? Fine. Pay back your every cent from me. Every penny you spend, pay me back. Then get out. All right. I don't want to argue. I won't. I'm too exhausted. Unbelievable. All day long, I didn't even provoke you. I've always been better in studies than you. Why is it... You get to spend on tutoring? Well, I have to take you to and from school. During exams, you get the best food and supplement. Me? After my exams, I have to come home and cook for you. Mom said, even if spent all the money, she will send you to a top school. Because education changes fate. What did you change? What did you change? Why did I work so hard, only to live like this? Why? After graduation, I wanted to be as far from you as possible. You begged and pleaded to come with me to Zhangzhou. This is a big city, not our rural hometown. Every day I wake up, I spend money. Why do you think I alone can support the entire family? Why? Why? I get it, sis. Sis, don't cry.
How's my proposal looking? By the way, I've cancelled the villa. Thank you. I never expected that client would screw me over like that. Well, it's good we pulled out. Once the money's back, we can use it for Guogo's education fund. I wanted to discuss something with you. Buying a house for mom and dad? Though we couldn't get it this time, we'll buy when we find the right one next time. Their old house is indeed too old. So the money for the house, I've invested it in mom's account. So they won't say I'm going back on my word or trying to back out of it. I checked out that villa in the southern city. It's too expensive. Our savings from all these years would all be drained, right? Just shifting it to a different place. I'm going to sleep now. My team doesn't accept little girls. I've looked at all for both the provincial and national levels. For categories like U6, U8, U10, U12, they're all mixed gender formats to complete. So why don't they accept little girls? That might be the official line, but in actual matches, how many little girls do you see on the field? Girls' physical stamina is quite behind the boys. Our Guogu, she has some talent on ice, and she's quite flexible. Usually, she's also quite tenacious. To be honest with you, I once trained a little girl. She didn't last two months. If your child is genuinely interested for fun, she can go to a training institution. My team is for competing and getting results. Oh. I am sorry. We're starting our practice now. Coach, please give us a chance. We're serious about learning, not just playing around. How about this? If we can't keep up, we'll leave on our own. As you can see, this is my work presentation for this quarter. Firstly, regarding the performance metrics, I've exceeded the targets. Thank you. For this quarter, the year-over-year -year growth of registered users. Why are all these key metrics showing a zero? What's going on? Oh. Let me check. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Maybe there's a computer glitch? When I reviewed it, I had a backup. Mine shows the same. As everyone can see, the month-over-month -month growth of registered users is 300%. Retention rate has increased 50%. Paying users have increased by two percentage points. These significant improvements form the foundation of our achievements this quarter. Little Pinguo, for now, you're just a trainee. Practice with everyone. If you can stick with it for six months, we'll discuss your further training plans, okay? You have to work hard, okay? Okay. Remember, when you're controlling the ball, keep your head up. Yes, you have to hit the ball hard. Hello, is this Lin Shuang? Sorry. We're recruiting for a junior algorithm engineer position, mainly targeting recent master's graduates. Okay, no problem. 
Mr. Wei, I'll compile the meeting notes and then send you. All right, make it quick. I need to get going then. Zhang Xi, come here. Before I left work yesterday, I checked all the data. Every bit of it. It was a minor hiccup. Don't dwell on it. I don't want to see you upset. Smile for me. That smile didn't feel genuine. <laughs> All right, you're good. Get back to work. Mm -hmm. Anything else? I'll head out then. You still need to make some revisions. Scratch the earlier parts. Okay, I'll make the changes. I'm sorry, but I can't accept your proposal. Come in. I want to say something. Go on. Luckily today, it's just our internal review meeting. The new CEO, Mr. Ling, will be taking over soon. If anything goes wrong in front of him, we all colleagues will be punished. Don't panic. I've noticed... Zhang Xi's issues. I've had high expectations for her. Sadly, she's not meeting them. Let's sit and talk. You're the backbone of our product promotion department. My right-hand person, confidant. I have high expectations for you. Thank you, Mr. Wei. You flatter me. Mi Xue, when you have time, keep an eye on Zhang Xi at work. I'll find an opportunity. Remind her about her attitude at work. Okay, understood. All right. Yes. Come on. Pay attention when you have the puck. Always keep your head up. Right. Stay low. Maintain the correct posture with the stick. that? What did you just say? You graduated a long time ago, right? Yes. This position for recent graduates, you might want to look for others. Here, have some water. Take it yourself. Mom, what are you doing? Mom's taking on something. That's very challenging. Harder than playing hockey? <laughs> Perhaps. Mon, the other kids make fun of me. 
They laugh because I'm a girl. Say I don't have enough strength in my shots. And that I can't run fast. Well, what they're saying isn't completely wrong. Then why did you still allow me to learn hockey? Because you have told me you loved hockey. And Mom believes you'll do great. As for me, I don't want to sugarcoat difficulties for you. But it's precisely because we understand the challenges that we won't be discouraged when fail. And we have the courage to face them. Mm. My little one is the best. I feel the same. I believe mom can do it. My mom is the best mom. Mom, keep it up. You got this. Yeah. Lin Shuang, it seems been five or six years since we last met. More than that. It's been seven or eight years for us. Time flies. Just as long since I've seen him. Right, I mean, now he's a big shot. To get him out for a meal, you have to schedule it through his secretary. What big shot? I'm just working for someone. Look at me. Look at my receding hairline. What's this called? What? The chosen one for work. Not bad, I see. Is that rich programmer trend now about comparing hairlines? Yes, it is. Remember from our class, the guy who always failed? Little fatty? Wu? Wu? Wu Jiaming? Yes, that's him. Wu Jiaming? Times change. Now he's an associate professor at Jiangdong University. But the most successful from our class, it has to be Gu Xu. Look at him. Graduated with a PhD from Princeton, then did his postdoc at Caltech while starting his own business. And he even managed to get an award from their Alumni Science Foundation. What was it? Career Achievement Award? Not just anyone can get that. In the industry, He's a real big shot. Lin Shuang knows. Lin Shuang, weren't you the eternal rival back then? Forever the runner-up? All right, all right. Now that you mention forever the runner-up, Lin Shuang, back in our class, was totally a top student. Definitely the top rank. Wasn't it Lin Shuang who got first place in that global university student programming competition that year? Absolutely, she did. During the award ceremony, she had this vibe. Hoping the future me can use design to change the world, turning dreams into reality. Oh, come on. It wasn't like that. No? You're being so dramatic. By the way, Lin Shuang, where are you working now? Haven't seen you at the class reunions these past years. After I had my child, I became a full-time mom. <laughs> <coughs> Try the fish, try the fish. Their wild-caught fish is especially fresh. It's getting cold. Here, eat some. Everyone makes different choices. Everyone chooses a unique lifestyle. They feel more comfortable to live. That's fine. But I always felt, with Lin Shuang's capabilities, it's a bit of a waste, right? Remember back in school, our teacher had the highest expectations for Lin Shuang. Lin Shuang, no offense. I just casually mentioned it. <sighs> Honestly, I think being a full-time mom is not something to be ashamed of. We willingly give up personal life, taking on 365 days a year of unpaid intensive work. That's truly a respectable profession. And... I don't think it's a waste, because now I'm planning to return to work. Even though I stayed home all these years, I wasn't entirely out of the job market. When I had some free time, I'd take on some outsourcing projects. So the reason I invited you both today is to ask for advice. Given my situation, what should I do now? It's a bit tough. Lin Shuang, for those who know of your capabilities, there's no doubt you're capable. You've also worked for a few years, right? But while you have experience and accumulation, firstly, you didn't achieve breakthroughs. Secondly, 
You don't have any significant success stories in the industry. This is very important. Plus, you took a few years off. We all know most of the outsourcing jobs are technically simple tasks. If you present such a resume, then the company's HR will just say something like, skills and expertise outdated, gap in employment. And with one comment, they'll reject you. What I mean is, initially, don't set your expectations too high. You might have to start from scratch, like a newbie. To be honest, when it comes to hiring fresh talents, companies might prefer energetic recent graduates. It's rare for people our age. Usually job offers come from headhunters or inside referrals. Lin Shuang, don't stress. I'll keep an eye out for you. Maybe lower your expectations a bit. I'll help think on this too. You should also get updated on the latest trends and info. If possible, you might want to brush up on your professional skills. Because after all, in our field, it's all about technical skills. Hey, driver, can you hurry up? I'm in a rush. You got the wrong car. Isn't this the plate number Zhang A3QW20? Nope. Sorry, my bad. Hello, driver? Where did you park the car? I have to be at Fengri building by 2.30. You? Which intersection are you at? Where are you? Hey. Hey. Hello. I'm headed to the vicinity of Fengri building, too. Why don't I give you a lift? Thank you, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I'm seriously running late. You look like... You're in tech, right? Yes, I'm your typical coder. You're being too modest. You must be at a high position. I can tell from your hair. <laughs> a friend just taught me that. Don't even mention it. Our project team at Jingri is just insane. They've loaded me up with so many interns, saying it's to save costs. Every day I'm stressed out, fixing their bugs. You're with Jingrui? Yes. Ark, Penshi, Jingrui, the three big tech giants in this tech park. Impressive. That was then. Times have changed. For Jingrui, it's now about surviving between Ark and Panshi. Tough times. Look, we're almost there. Thanks so much for today. No problem. I should be thanking you. I learned a lot. Should I transfer you some money for the ride? No need. Get going. Thanks. How many chocolates did you eat today? That's our little secret. Don't tell mom. Dad won't tell mom. But you have to promise dad only one chocolate a day. Deal? Deal! Long live dad! Here. Mom's back. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Put it away. Go, go! Mom's back! Take off. It's airplane time. Landing. This is a new hairpin dad bought for me. I took Guogo to the amusement park today. She said she hasn't been in a long time. It's so pretty. Go play. Mom will be here in a bit. Did you have fun at the amusement park today? I did! Later you can take Mom and play with Dad. Off you go. Big Bad Wolf. We'll be back. In three counts. You better hide. Guogo. Got it. Three, two, one. Ow! 
Honey. Are you still mad? You misunderstood me last time. I was... a bit upset. But we're a couple. There shouldn't be any grudges. It's not like you to be mad this long. Huh? Honey... I'm sorry, okay? It's my fault. I spoke without thinking. Next time I'll watch my tone. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. The big bad wolf has also apologized. Honey, I'm sorry. Mom, hurry, run! The big bad wolf will get you! Run, run! Hide quickly, or the big bad wolf will eat both you and Mom. Help! The big bad wolf is going to eat me. Can you not be mad anymore? How about after Guo Guo goes to sleep tonight? I'll try to make it up to you. Is that okay? Guo Guo. Eh? Let's see where Guo Guo is hiding. Are you hidden? <laughs> you gave yourself away just now. Gotcha. Gotcha. Guo Guo? Mom isn't feeling well today. How about we cook dinner tonight? Can we make a cake? Of course. <laughs> Big Bad Wolf's little helper. Big Bad Wolf's little helper. Squeeze a bit here. Right here. Squeeze a dot. And one here. Let's draw you first, okay? Here. Dot one here for a flower. Here. After you, who should we draw next? Mom. Draw mom. Come, Mom. We're cutting the cake. Mom, let's cut the cake. Careful, careful, careful. Come, come. Dad will put it on the table for you. Whoa! How about we take a picture? Okay. Okay. One. Mom, give us a smile. Two. Three. Smile. One, two, three. Smile. <laughs> Should we let Mom cut the cake? Sounds good. Okay. Okay then, that's the end of today's lesson. Now let's relax our hands and legs. Class dismissed. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you, teacher. teacher. Thank you. Thank you. All right, my back is especially sore today. How's your arm? <laughs> Impressive. Planning on one side, showing off your love on the other. You're really not a simple housewife, are you? Whether I'm simple or not is not important to you. After all, I'm here to discuss a partnership. With you, I have responded to your proposal. Didn't you receive it? You, you're the simple one. Thinking you know it all. Wyming, this man, is best known for his insincerity. Master of manipulation. Sooner or later, you'll find out how foolish it is to have feelings for him. 
He doesn't love you, nor me. He only loves himself. I am the proof of your future. Whether he loves you is your business. But he loves me. Well, in that case, why not take this opportunity to verify it? You don't need to refuse me hastily. My offer stands for a long time. Some things can't be done by one person. But two can achieve twice the result with half the effort. Jiang Xi, I've heard the new CEO, Mr. Ling, has started holding meetings with the directors. Really? Hmm. Ah. Look. Look at the way all the bigwigs are fawning over him. Soon, our arc will stage a drama of palace intrigue. Grab your popcorn. <sighs> it's better to be a small fry. A new round of challenges in technology and business is underway. The transformation in internet technology has bestowed upon us a brand new mission and task. I'm honored and very pleased to become colleagues with all you talented individuals in this competitive age. I'm also looking forward to our joint efforts, achieving great success together. All right, that's all for today. Meeting adjourned. Mr. Ling, do you still remember me? At last year's Internet Innovation Conference, we met. Did we? <gasps> I do have a vivid memory of Wyming, though. Wyming? Mr. Ling. When I was at Tarakti, we discussed a partnership, though it didn't work out then. Now at ARC, we are collaborating. Let's go. I saw you posted on your social feed about the newly opened Ice and Snow Amusement Park. You took your kid? My daughter loves it. Mr. Ling, does your child love it too? She absolutely adores it. But I as a father fall short, not like you. <laughs> well, next time you're free, let me know in advance. I have a friend in ticketing. I can ask him to reserve tickets for you. Oh, I'll have to thank you on behalf of my daughter. Uh -huh. She'd be thrilled. Huh? Let's go grab some tea. Let's go. Wow, that worked. I was wondering, given how busy Weiming is, how he even had time to take his family to the amusement park. Never imagined this little amusement park trip would come in handy this morning. He instantly won over the new CEO. If Funkai competes with Weiming for the VP position, He's out of his depth. <gasps> Let's go. When are you planning to get a divorce? Not now. When then? Jiangxi. Compared to a marriage certificate, isn't love the most important thing, right? If I offered you a chance to swap places with Lin Shuang, you wouldn't take it. So, you've never seriously considered getting a divorce. I've told you. I love you. If you'd have me, I'd be with you till the ends of the earth. Wyming this man is best known for his insincerity. Sooner or later you'll find out how foolish it is to have feelings for him. He doesn't love you, nor me. He only loves himself. I am the proof of your future. Missed you. Zhang Hai, how many times have I told you? Your socks. Can't you wash them when you shower? Just throwing them everywhere. So filthy. Unbelievable. 
What stinks? What kind of person does this? Oh no, oh no, sis! What happened? Mom's calling, sis! Answer it. Mom? Mom. Son? You look thinner. Is your job at the Institute too taxing? It's been okay recently. Working overtime and all. It's not as much as before, it's manageable. Hey, yo. Young man, take care of your health. And also your career. You're still so young. If something happens to your health, what then? All right, all right, I got it. Hey. Where's your sister? Sis, mom's looking for you. Hand it over. Jiang Xi. Mom? A few days ago, your third uncle brought a construction team to check out our home. He said to renovate the house and add an extra floor. After doing the math, we are short by 150,000. That's a lot more than needed, isn't it? Don't worry about the details. Help contribute a bit. Zhang Hai can chip in less, you more. I help him out? So what you're saying is... I have to cover his share too? He just started working. His earnings are meager. So, what's the big deal if you chip in more? He's working? Mom! About what you just said, we got it. Anyway, I've got blueprints to draft. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. Let me ask you, when exactly are you going to tell Mom? Let's talk about it later. I'll find the right moment. What right moment? Let me tell you. You keep hiding like this. How long have you been holed up at home? I have to support you, and also keep it from Mom. You know how she is about money? If you don't set it straight, I'll have to cover that money. Hey, what? Hey! Playing dead, huh? You won't call? Fine. I will. I'm gonna tell her. Sis, I was wrong. I was the wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I admit my mistake. Is this how a good son becomes a freeloader? You really can't call her. If you do, she'll come over. It'll be hard for both of us. Sis, I know. I'm relying on you. But I am a man, too. I have my pride. You have pride? What about me? I don't have that much money. I'm tired, too. Sis, I know you're tired. I know it's hard. But, look, I didn't play any games today. This project of mine is promising. Several investors already approached me about it. Once they invest and we earn from it, and then I'll send you big bonuses, like 80,000 or 100,000, easy. Maybe buy a couple of bags. Are you free tonight? Let's meet up at the karaoke place. Discuss the partnership. Sorry. I'm still working overtime. I was just busy. If this time I can get the order from Mr. Fang, what's my reward? You get Mijui's position. Your salary will double, plus a bonus for securing the deal. <laughs> Gone crazy in the midnight. Deal. Got a screenshot for proof. Right. I'm on my way. Mr. Wei, any issues? Nothing. The kid learned to play mind games with me. Kids these days are so smart. Go on. Mr. Lee wants us to collaborate with them, join the exhibition, and do a roadshow. I glanced at the plan. From our end, sending two technical staff should suffice. Shouldn't be too troublesome. No problem. <laughs> Cheers. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, 
Mr. Fang. <laughs> Mr. Fang? Huh? Um, regarding the price from our ARC tech, hasn't it already been approved on your end? I wanted to ask, when can we start the contract process? I've approved ARC tech's price. However, the same price, same service? Other companies can offer that too, right? Um, well, how about this? Shall we refine the details a bit? Then both sides can communicate further? <sighs> Xiao Jiang, let me teach you. Huh? When you're out discussing a contract without a glass of wine in hand, how can you even start? Huh? <laughs> exactly. Sorry, I don't drink. Uh -huh. In business, who doesn't drink, right? Those who look good can hold their liquor. Come on, drink up. Whether or not we secure this contract today, it's all up to our Miss Jang's tolerance for alcohol. Right. Isn't it? Exactly, that's right. Since Mr. Fang said so, this glass must be finished. Cheers, come on. Come on! <laughs> Not bad at holding your drink. Mr. Fang, I hope... We can quickly finalize the contract. Sure, sure. Thank you. Come on, drink up. Drink, drink, drink. Cheers. 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 Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Come on! <laughs> Keep drinking. Good tolerance. Continue. Continue. Xiao Jiang, impressive. Exactly. Come on. Drink! Oh. Are you all having fun? Having, having fun. fun! Is our Mr. Fang great? great? Great! To our big boss, Mr. Fang. Come oh. on! Oh. Everyone enjoy! Oh. Great. <laughs> Mr. Fang, from now on, our companies must continue to cooperate, all right? I've got it in mind. <laughs> Come on. Mr. Fang. Mr. Fang, about our Arctech contract. I'm really impressed by you. Still thinking about that contract. All right, all right, how about this? Tomorrow I'll come to Arctech. Let's get that contract signed. How's that? Mr. Fang, thank you. You're really a great person. I, I toast to you, I'll drink up. Drink up, drink up! Let's not talk business, Xiao Jiang. In such a lovely setting, always bringing up contracts kind of kills the mood, right? We're here to drink. Come on, Mr. Fang. Come on, come on, Mr. Fang. Mr. Fang. <laughs> Had a bit too much. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Here's to another one. Yang, how did you get this drunk? If you can't handle it, drink less. Come on, I'll take you home. Take you home. It's fine, it's fine. Let's go, let's go, don't be shy. Xiaojiang, you're so drunk, you can't walk by yourself. Let me take you. I can go back by myself. I really can walk. Come on, come on. Thank you. Let me, let me, come on. I can really go back come on, on my come own. Come on, come on. I can make it home myself. Why the formality? Come on, come on. I can really go by myself. You can't, you can't. <laughs> Who are you? Who do you think I am? Didn't you just hear she wants to walk herself?
Who are you? Don't touch me. Your address? What address? Your home address. I have no home. What address? Address. Once this glass is done, let's finalize the deal, okay? When we wake up tomorrow, we'll sign the deal. <laughs> Driver, let me tell you. Actually, in my home, it's always about money, money, money. Money. This year they want to do business. Next year they want to build a house. Where's all this money from? No money! It's all fake. Me? Am I good? Not good. I'm not good. 